there, and it had played a big role also with the scientific discovery. And these calculations, the scientific discovery, was terribly important. It was terribly important for my for my career, um, but also for the effects it had. It, 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 you know, without going into any detail about the area it was in, since I know what the discovery was, folks, I can tell you that it, it affected uh, the world profoundly. Yeah, there's a particular there's a particular uh, field of science. Uh, um, and technology that this affected, and uh, it has made, made a big impact uh, worldwide uh, in this field, uh, not just for the field itself, but for our, our awareness to um, how to do certain kinds of, uh, um, uh, let's say, transportation. Right, yeah, and leave it at that. Well, what a remarkable story we have been told today by and you know i think it's rather tragic that this is not something that you could bring forward into the scientific community and that it could maybe conceivably lead to more interactions like this and the more useful knowledge coming the way of humanity from this bizarre source what do you think they are mike what are you do you think you're we're dealing with Time travelers or creatures from another world, or exactly what? I don't know uh, what they are. Um, first of all, I have to tell the audience out there that, from my experience, I'm a very, very sane person, and I, I, I um, have a, a, you know, I'm just very well established in what I do. So I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a fringe case at all. Actually, I'm not at all, not at all. Part of the establishment, unfortunately, but. Uh, um, um, it's hard to say what these things are. They, they certainly they exist. There's no doubt about that. I definitely saw them with my friend. She was there. She chooses not to remember it too clearly as time goes on. Those people doing shock experiences, but yes, it definitely, it definitely happened. It definitely had a coincidence with the major scientific work. Uh, so I say to myself, what are they? Well, um, uh, they, they. My inclination is they may not be. Uh, you know, one is tempted to say they're space travelers, but I would tend to doubt that. Um, my 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 gut feeling is that they might be uh, 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 some kind of life uh, form that exists in in alternate dimensions from ours, um, and they may actually be time travelers as well, which they could be from the future or from the past. And and their role, I believe, is to is to affect our civilization. By uh, by making um, um, uh, contact with various people who are in various situations to do things that can work for the betterment of our society and world as a whole to move it forward, uh, they do work in very discreet ways. And um, I would be fascinated to know how many people who are in strong positions in our world have con have stories like this. I'm sure you're never going to hear them, uh, but I think their role is to help the world. Um, and, and to make it move in a better way, um, this discovery, I could, of course, go on and on about what it is, and it certainly uh, has a strong bearing on a lot of different things, but, it's, but, but the discovery itself uh, has a strong sign. If you could put a sign on it, the sign would be, this discovery is meant to open our awareness as the new way to do things. And, yes. And I think that these entities, that's their job, is to sort of help us along to do new things in key ways to sort of move our society forward. And um, where they come from is probably, I mean, it could be another dimension. It could be from the future or the past. Uh, they could very well be time travelers. I mean, there's no reason to believe from the laws of physics you can't do time travel. There's been research papers written, and in fact, it is consistent with Einstein's theory of relativity that time travel can, in fact, happen, although it's very difficult to do with our technology today. But... It's not inconceivable in the future this could happen. Uh, but there's so much about the universe we don't know. Um, there are 400 billion stars in our galaxy alone. There's trillions of galaxies. Um, the, we think that you can't go to stars now. Our closest star is Alpha Centauri, and it takes 100,000 years to get there if you want to go there in the space shuttle. So therefore, people say, well, travel between the stars is clearly impossible, but it may be that some discovery will make it very easy to do. If that's the case, then there'd be all kinds of entities traveling all over the place that we have no idea about. Um, I think it's difficult to speculate what these things are. It's, they're clearly much more advanced than we are. They can clearly influence us in, very, in ways like this I described in this interview, which we have no understanding about. To us, it seems like magic. It seems very unusual, weird. 
and that's because we're just not used to it. But it's obviously, and it, they're, they're, they obviously represent something which I hope is here to do good for this uh, planet. Well, thank you very much for giving us what I think is probably the most extraordinary interview in the history of Dreamland. <laughs> that was really something. And, Mike, uh, best wishes to you in your future career. Do you ever expect to see them again, do you think? I don't know. Um, I think this is one of those cause and effect things that you can't uh, really answer. Um, I'd be fine if I did. Uh, but, uh, you know, these are basically, um, from what I observed, these would be independent entities with their own destiny and futures, which they do when they want to do it. Right. So if they decide to get in contact with me again, they certainly know how to do it. and you know, So it's really up to them, um, and, and I don't know what their agenda is. Well, Mike, thank you very much for being with us, and all best wishes in your future for your future career.